Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. This is Calculus 3. Uh, we're doing 14.2. This is uh, multiple integrals over non-rectangular regions. In this case, the last couple of examples we've done have all been just x and y. Let's bring in a three-dimensional problem where we've got x, x plus 2y plus z is the plane that we're looking at. That's what we're going to be underneath. That's our function we're evaluating for. Well, of course, equals 2. Uh, and so, and we're going to, the, the regions we're binding it by in the x, y plane will be x equals 2y, x equals 0, and z equals 0, which is, uh, we're making sure we're not just going down forever, okay? Uh, so let's take a look at it. What are we getting here? Uh, if I want to treat this Z as something we can use, uh, where does this plane come down and like intersect this line? So it's coming down in this slant. I've got the overhead view here. Uh, the way we do it is we solve this for Z and treat that as our function of f of x, y. Uh, and we can see that y equals, when it intersects the x, y plane, uh, we got y equals negative one half x plus one, okay? If we say z equals zero, this is the x, y plane. We got y equals negative one half x plus one. So that creates one of our lines, that line right there. x equals two y create is y equals one half x here. And we had x equals zero. And if we look at it three dimensionally, it's like this. That's the triangle we just saw in the other picture. And it's making, it's going up to along the z-axis where x and y are both zero, it's gonna go up to two. So it's making a tetrahedron with the four points listed there. Uh, so we can integrate along x or y First, if we go along x first, uh, notice above y equals one, we have a different upper limit. In both cases, x equals zero is the lower limit, uh, but we're gonna have one negative one half x plus one. Well, if we're doing x, it's gonna be x equals two y. Let's see, this is the x equals two y line. And this is the, we come back over here, solve for x. x equals negative 2y plus 2 is that one. But we would have two different regions, one above. We go from 0 to 1 on y, and then 1, to, sorry, 0 to 1 half on y, and 1 half to 1 on y. And we got two different integrals. Uh, so I decided to do x first. I can see I've only got one integral here. The lower limit is y equals one half x. The upper limit is y equals negative one half x plus one. We're doing a long y first. I, don't, I think I just said the backwards thing, opposite. We still got our function negative x minus two y plus two. Not only does that represent the function we're integrating, but it also represents one of our boundary conditions because it's cutting through the x equals or the z equals zero plane, okay? So we can go ahead and integrate. Uh, we do dy first, negative x minus two y plus two. I gathered the terms that didn't have y together to make two minus x, that term and that term. That one gets a y and the negative two y becomes negative y squared. We plug in our boundary conditions, one half x and one minus one half x. And it gets kind of ugly, but when you work the algebra out and collect it, it's not too bad. We just end up with x squared minus 2x plus 1 on the inside. Uh, so we integrate that. We get 1 third x squared minus x squared plus x. We're doing from x equals 0 to x equals 1. And our answer is 1 third when we plug it in. Okay. And that's it on that one. Uh, 
you can always find where these these lines intersect by setting the y values equal to each other. So we'll have one half x equals negative one half x plus one. That's where we set our y values equal to each other. We can see that we get x equals one is the upper limit. So we know where the two lines intersect. Okay. Uh, that's just a reminder on how I'm graphing these in case you forgot some of your algebra. That's it for this video. Peace.